Okay, now we are in Istanbul. Now let's test our configuration. So go into our Internet Explorer and let's test our HTTPS now. Mail.condoso.com slash exchange. Okay, administrator password. Click on OK. As you can see now that uh, our Outlook Web Access able to com uh, connect to our Denver server from the Istanbul and this is our certificate from the Denver CA okay so let's test to see whether this works or not so we got new to administrator okay and oops we need to change this a little bit. Okay, to make sure that it's uh, successfully and go understand. All right, so you can see that the mail uh, has been sent, and let's click on the uh, send and receive to see whether we receive. Yes, we do receive. And uh, sure enough that our Outlook Web Access successfully sent and received back. Now, there's another way for you to configure the authentication. Instead of the uh, default authentication, we can use a form-based authentication. So let's close our Outlook Web Access and let's go back to Forens uh, Server. Now, I go back to the uh, Forens Server now. So I want you to go back into the uh, web listener, right click and properties. Select the preference and we have the authentication method here. On the authentication method, we uncheck the integrated authentication. And you can see there's a warning here. If no authentication are select, rules require authentication cannot be applied. So we click OK. We select the OWA form base and we select configure. As you can see from here, the authentication uh, session timer will be 22 minutes for the public machine and 36 minutes for the private machine. So we leave it as the default and we click on OK and OK and let's apply our policy. Okay, so the policy successfully applied. Let's go back to Istanbul now. Okay, so I'm back in Istanbul now. Launch the Internet Explorer. So let's go back to our Exchange. And you can see that this is a form-based authentication. The domain will be Contoso slash administrator and the password will be password. We are using the uh, premium public and let's log on. As you can see that this is the uh, form based authentication. Okay, so let's close it. Now to prevent the uh, following conflict on the next lab, I need you to go back to the uh, foreign firewall Okay, now we are back into foreign firewall and uh, configure back to default on the uh, web listener. So right click, uh, properties, back to the preference, select the uh, authentication, uncheck the OA, form base and select the integrated. We click on OK, OK and remember to apply. So remember that in this exercise, I already show you how you can enable the uh, HTTP to pass through on the OWA and I also show you the uh, form-based authentication using the Exchange server and the ISA server.